Uh, let's go with item name. I want to make a new sword. So as a new, as a new sword, we will call it uh, server lens. Legendary sword. The item quote will be don't be afraid to make your own item. All right, the quality, you can also see the image over here. The quality, you can set it as whatever you want. I'm just going to go with legendary. I think that's the best looking color. <laughs> that's uh, that's my opinion. Uh, display ID, that's, uh, that's a complicated topic. I'm going to search for Thunder Fury. Going to hit search. It requires me to connect into my database. So, because I don't remember my credentials, give me a sec, let me find it. All right, uh, we have it. I'm gonna uh, save connection info. Connection successful, save to settings. And let's go ahead and search for this, uh, this item name. What it does at the moment, it searches for all the items that we have in our database, which we can access through uh, ADSQL. If you guys remember this uh, this program, uh, it searches for all the items that we have in this uh, in this uh, database, and it gives us all the items that it has found with this name. Uh, we could also do that. It's a more manual way. This uh, this device does it very well. <laughs> this piece of software. Uh, let's go into item template right there let's go into data and we can type we can show all first of all we can see like all the items that there are uh we see that the entry is uh for example 210 it has the name which is the name of the item that we just uh, we just named it and it has the display id the display id is not identical to entry the display ID is how the, the item will look like in game. When you want to add the new item, that's the entry. You do add item 210, it will look like the display ID 14444. That's exactly what it's going to do, not any other way around. It's a very confusing topic because there are multiple uh, numbers, but it's, uh, it's a very simple process once you figure this out. This display ID is not the entry ID. So let's uh, let's use this one for now. Oh, it crashed. All right, so do not double click it. <laughs> here, 0606. All right, now we can set up if we want this item to bind, to bind into anything. Uh, we, I mean, I, I don't. You can do it as whatever you want. And uh, we can select if it will be an armor, weapon, or pretty much the rest. But the main ones that you're going to use are armor and weapons. Uh, it's a legendary sword, so obviously we will need it as a sword. And because it's legendary, I think it will only make sense if it will be a two-handed uh, sword. And this is how it says two-handed over here. And let's check one-handed. And it does one-handed, main hand, offhand. Or you can use uh, the uh, other options here. So let's go with two-handed for now. I want this to be a one item per character limit. This is the max count. I want it to be uh, 60,000 weapon damage as minimum. And let's do 120. Now, the speed is how often do we want the weapon to attack. Every 1,000 is one second. You can also see here, which is extremely convenient. Every 1,000 is one second. So if I want a fast uh, attack speed, I can do it like, uh, I don't know, 1,500. And if I want a slow weapon, but increasing damage, it will be like... Uh, 3,000. All right, for now, I'm going to do two seconds just to be uh, in between. And we can change the type of damage that we want to do. If you want to do physical, holy, fire, nature, you know, you can, you can read the rest. 
Uh, I want it to be a physical, uh, physical weapon. And now we can do the stats, which are pretty much the most important part of this, uh, this entire uh, item. So let's start with stamina, which is basically our health, uh, unlike health itself. Stamina has all the other benefits of uh, increasing uh, health regeneration and all that, uh, all that stuff amongst the, among the, the rest. So I want to do an 8,000 stamina item now because it's a, uh, it's a legendary two-handed weapon. It will be full of uh, strength as well. Let's give it uh, 6,000 strength. If we're gonna keep it, please like it will be an extremely overpowered weapon. And let's do some crit, critical. Actually, let's do crit with uh, agility. Let's do 600. All right, so this is our weapon. Now we can do level required. You can make it uh, level 50, you can do level 80, you can do whatever. Whatever you want, I don't think we should give it uh, any level re level uh, requirement. An item level, I think level 150 would do. And durability, if you're gonna keep it zero, it will be uh, an item that cannot be broken. But for for us, we will do 500. It's a uh, invincible weapon, doesn't break. <laughs> this is only a legendary. So let's do buy price. Actually, I don't want it to be bought, but still, because uh, I don't want it to be within a vendor and people will be able to get it for free. So let's do an insane amount of gold that pretty much no one will ever have. Actually, let's do a bit more. That makes more sense. Now you can see that this tick, this checkbox here, uh, automatically set the sell price to uh, 25%. Uh, no, I don't want it to be 25%, so I uncheck that. I do zero, and I do zero in here as well, and I give it one copper. You can sell it for one copper, so you better be very careful if you do actually buy it with gold. Um, this one, I don't really want to get into that i mean that's uh really irrelevant let's do uh let's do class limitations once i check this you can see that there are other options that appear i want warrior paladin and death knight only to be able to use this item and i want to do race limitations I mean, you could do it for specific races, but you know, we, we don't want to be racist. So <laughs> we will not do that. Uh, as soon as we export the item, you can see here that the item generated for us, this entry ID, I believe it is based on the latest item that we have in the database. And then it adds plus one, 54, eight, uh, no, it doesn't. All right, never mind. So this will be the uh, the item ID. We can obviously change that. Actually, let's actually change that. Did this. So as soon as we're done, we have multiple options. We can export to database, which means that it will insert the item for us into the database. We can do export to SQL file, which will basically uh. Just, you know, just give us the, uh, the export file as it is item, whatever dot CPP dot SQL. Sorry. So I'm just going to save it here. Let's go in here and we can see that this one has been saved for us. So as soon as we open it, as soon as we open it, we can see that it has all the insert function that we need and all the all the stuff that we inserted within the application itself including the name the well basically everything <laughs> so this is the first option let's go into the second option which means 
insert it for us into the database and we will see if it actually functions. Export to database. Just export. Uh, your creation has been saved to the database. So I'm in the database. I'm going to press F5 to refresh. And as soon as I'll scroll down, the item is here exactly as we saved it. Let's go ahead and check all the stats and all the uh, everything else. The delay is basically the, uh, the, the weapon speed. Min max damage is 60 and 120. It's good. And then we have the stats here. The stats use a uh, stat type and stat value. Uh, stat type is basically what stat do you want to modify? Which stat you want to adjust? And the stat value is how much of this specific stat. You can see that it says here one at the end because this is the first stat. The second stat will say two, then three, four, until 10. As soon as we reach 10, we cannot do more than that because the client will not allow it. We can adjust the client, yes, but it will be a, a very complicated process that we will not do in this uh, in this video at least. And uh, yeah, so we can check which stat and what is the meaning of each stat on the Trinity Core wiki page. Actually, let's do that right now. Trinity Core item template. I'm gonna search for stat. Let's scroll down. All right, there you go. Item stat, uh, no, stat type. And we can see here everything that is uh, listed. Uh, you do need to know that it skips a few, a few numbers. So the fact that you see 48 does not mean that there are actual 48, 8, 9, 10, 11 are missing. So, you know, just be careful with what you type because it could be uh, an irrelevant stat, can cause problems, I mean, may cause problems, you know. And uh, yeah, so let's actually make sure that the stats that we're given are correct. Uh, stamina should be the first one because we gave it 8,000. Stamina is type stat type seven, which is actually, yep, it's seven. And then we have stat type uh, four, 6,000, four should be strength, exactly that. And then we have uh, stat type three, 600, stat type three should be agility, exactly what we've given. So other than that, it should, should be good to go. Now we just need to get in game and make sure that this item can actually be used. To do that, we will need to restart the server. So let's close the server real quick. And I'm gonna boot this back up. 